hello and welcome to my youtube channel canvas in this video we are going to discuss a very important organic transformation that is the hydroboration oxidation of alkenes we will cover the following points general introduction mechanism examples and at the end summary on hydroboration oxidation of alkenes so let's begin as evident from its name it is the combination of two reactions reaction of an alkene with borane to produce organoborane and after that reaction of organoborane with alkaline hydrogen peroxide to produce alcohol thus the overall hydroboration oxidation is equivalent to the addition of water molecule to an alkene mechanism alkene is electron rich due to the presence of pi bond while bh3 is electron deficient as boron has incomplete octet transfer of pi electrons to boron and at the same time transfer of hydride ion to the alkenic carbon leads to the formation of this four membered cyclic transition state in which there is a partial positive charge on boron and this carbon while partial negative charge on hydrogen and this carbon this transition state then collapses to alkyl borane the anion generated from the reaction of sodium hydroxide and hydrogen peroxide donates electron pair to boron to produce this adduct which undergoes alkyl migration like this to produce this alkoxy borane and hydroxide ion transfer of electron pair from hydroxide ion to boron of alkoxy borane gives alkoxy hydroxy dihydroborate which undergoes hydrolysis like this to produce alcohol regioselectivity in hydroboration oxidation hydroboration oxidation of alkene gives anti marconica hydration product as the major product that is the oh preferably goes to less substituted carbon of alkene this can be explained in terms of stability of transition state suppose we have an unsymmetrical alkene it can react with borane like this to produce transition state a where it has partial positive charge on boron and the carbon not attached to boron and partial negative charge on hydrogen and the carbon attached to boron which then collapses to produce alkyl borane the alkyl borane after oxidation will give anti marconica hydration product or alkene and borane may combine like this to produce transition state b which will convert to this alkyl borane which after oxidation gives marconica hydration product here we can see that the transition state a is more stable than b because in a there is less steric hindrance and partial positive charge is on greater substituted carbon while partial negative charge is on less substituted carbon because of this anti marconica product is formed as the major product while marconica product as minor 
Let's have the example of hydroboration oxidation of 1 pentene. C2 has 1 substituent while C1 has 0. So, OH will preferably go to C1 to produce 1 pentanol as the major product. Another example. Hydroboration oxidation of methylene cyclohexane. Here, this alkenic carbon has two substituents, while exomethylene carbon has zero. So, OH will prefer preferably go to the exomethylene carbon to produce cyclohexyl methanol as the major product is stereoselectivity in hydroboration oxidation. This is an example of syn addition that is H and OH are added from the same face of the alkene. Let's go through examples for better understanding. Hydroboration oxidation of E3-methylpent2-ene as far as the residue selectivity is concerned, OH will add to less substituted carbon of alkene while H to the greater, greater substituted one. From a stereochemistry point of view, the H and OH will add from the same face of alkene. The alkene has two faces with equal probability for the attack by H and OH. So, addition from top phase will give one enantiomer and addition from the bottom will give another enantiomer. Hydroboration oxidation of methyl cyclohexene. In this also, the OH will add to the less substituted carbon of alkene and H to the greater substituted carbon. Addition of H and OH from the top phase will give this alcohol while from the bottom phase will give its enantiomer. Another example, here BD3 has been used in place of BH3. So there will be addition of OH on the less substituted carbon and D on the greater substituted carbon. Addition from the top phase will give one enantiomer while addition from the bottom will give another. Hydroboration oxidation of narbornene. Here both the alkenic carbons are symmetrical. So there will be equal probability for the attack by H and OH. There are two phases of alkene for the attack, but the attack preferentially occur from less hindered exophase to produce this exoalcohol along with its enantiomer. Hydroboration oxidation of minus alpha pinene. In this case, the alkenic carbons are different. OH will attack on less substituted carbon while H on greater. There are two phases for the attack but top phase is hysterically hindered. So, attack will prefer preferentially occur from the less hindered bottom phase to produce this endoalcohol as the major product. Sometimes in books or question papers, top view of minus alpha pinene is given like this. In that case, the product structure can be drawn like this. Hydroboration oxidation of beta pinene. In this, OH will add to the methylene carbon while H to the tetra substituted alkenic carbon. There are two phases of alkene. 
top face is hysterically hindered due to methyl group so attack will preferentially occur from the bottom face to produce cis meritanol now we will go through the summary of what we learned about hydroboration oxidation of alkene so far if you remember these summary points you will be able to solve most of the problems based on hydroboration oxidation of alkenes these points are in hydroboration oxidation of alkene an alkene is converted to alcohol in this transformation oh goes to the less substituted carbon of alkene that is it is equivalent to anti markovnikov addition of water to alkene and addition of h and oh is in syn fashion that is h and oh add to the same face of the alkene that's all in this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video thank you very much for watching this video